hello my my beauty queens welcome back to my channel in today's video i thought it'd be fun <clears throat> to do a quick easy eyeshadow look using the oldie but a goodie huda beauty neon palette and this is what it looks like right here i think i used this palette one time and i don't even know if these still available because i had this in my collection for a while but yeah this is what it looks like right here very cute I just thought this was very springy, you guys. Let me know, let me know, let me know. I just think it's very, very cute. So I'm going to do two different looks. They're all for fun. I'm going to try to make it wearable as possible, but for the most part, it's all is, is all is fun. So I still have the sticker on here. So yeah, you guys, did you see my... Um, I'm going to take this uh, Instant Age Rewind Concealer and Caramel and just put it on my lids. Did you guys see my um, Breakfast of Champions today that I posted? Sorry, you guys. Let me <laughs> get my phone. Sorry about that. Did you guys see my um, Breakfast of Champions I had today? So when I went to work, my nice, nice, nice co-worker got me this very nice gourmet donut and um it was very nice it was like a maple with bacon oh my god it was so good it was so good so i posted it like my breakfast of champions <laughs> so yeah so this is what we're looking like right here just wanted to put a little color on the lid put a little bit more Yeah, you guys, I was going to do a um, May phase, but I didn't really do too much shopping in May, which is a good thing. So I might do it next month, May and June together. So yeah, I will let you guys know. So that's what we're looking like right there. So now I'm going to take, what color am I going to take? What color am I going to take? I'm going to take this color right here and we're going to just put that in the crease. See how deep that is? This is trial and error. If it's not deep enough, then we're just going with another color. So I'm going to take my forever handy dandy makeup forever brush that I love. We're going to go in with that color right there. First, I'm going to stamp. Then I'm going to blend. Yeah, my my beauty clean. Some of these palettes that I have, I need to start using them. So yeah, that's very cute. So I'm just building up the color first because I think, I, like I said, I used this palette maybe once and then that was it. So I just want to build up the color so you can see it, so I can see it. All right, so now I'm just going to wipe my brush off and then I'm just going to do circular motions to blend it out. Yes, it's still being like a dream. So this is what we're looking like right now. Still see a little harsh line. Let me. Okay. All right, got the line out. So that's what we're looking like right now. So then I'm going to take, what color I'm going to take? I'm going to take this um, deeper pink right here and I'm going to put that in the outer V. So let's see what I'm going to use for that. I'm going to use, what is this? This is my Charlotte Tilbury brush that came in that um, set. And I'm just going to take this pink. Oh, it's pigmented. See that? And put that in the outer corner. I could get the outer corner. So I'm stamping. Look how pigmented that is. I'm stamping first. Oh. <laughs> And then I'm going to blend. So yeah, you guys, let me know if you guys tried any Huda Beauty Neon palettes. And if you have, 
Or if you have them, you guys, pull them out, pull them out, pull them out. Dust them off, dust them off, dust them off. So that's what we're looking like right now. And then the rest on the brush, I'm just going to drag that through the crease. The rest that's on the brush. So this is what we're looking like so far. Very pretty. Take a little bit more. Put it on the brush. This brush by um, Charlotte Tilbury is very soft too, you guys. All right, so now that I have that, I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to take my, what is this, Anastasia brush right here. And I'm going to go in with this lighter color right here. And we're going to just put that on the creep, I mean, on the brow bone. So I'm going to take that and just, oh, that's kind of pigment. Did you see that, you guys? Put that on the brow bone. Yeah, that's nice. You can see that very well. I hope you guys could see it. I tried to angle my camera so you guys could see. All right, so that's what we're looking like right there. Then I'm going to go back in with some of that pink and put it in the other corner just to deepen it up. Then I'm going to wipe my brush off. Then I'm going to go back in with um, this color right here. and put that in a crease because I lost some of the color. All right, so that's what we're looking like. That's what we're looking like. That's what we're looking like. So now I'm going to take, what color am I gonna take? I'm gonna take this flat brush by um, Hourglass right here and I'm gonna go in with this um color right here and we're gonna put that no you know what yeah i'm gonna take yeah i'm gonna take this color right there and put that on the lid i'm sorry no i'm not this color i mean i'm sorry this color right here and put that all over the lid <sighs> look how pigmented that is we're gonna just oh yeah that's pigmented you guys Yep, that's pigmented. Oh my goodness. It's very pigmented. I didn't think it was going to be that pigmented. So let me know, let me know. So this is what this is looking like right here. Let me just go up a little bit because I got semi hooded eyes. So I like to exaggerate a little bit my lid space. So yeah. All right, so that's what we're looking like right there. Oh my goodness, this is so bright, so springy, so summer. You guys, let me know, let me know. Okay, now that I'm done with that, then I'm gonna go in with this um, pink right here, this like shimmer glitter pink, and we're gonna just put that all over. But before I do that, cause I want it nice and bright, I'm gonna add some of this glitter glue, and this is glitter glue by Too Faced right here. And I'm just gonna do like my fingers like this, and I'm just gonna go on my lid with the glitter glue. Now I'm gonna take that pink on my finger, that's what that looks like right there, and I'm just gonna pop that all over. Like I said, easy, nice, and fun. Let your girl know. I'm happy I put that color under there because it is getting more pigmented as I'm swiping. But if I want to put that pink under, I don't think it would have been as pigmented. So I'm super happy I did that. All right, so y'all like this. It's very pretty, very springy, very summery. And that's what we're looking like right here. Very cute. And then I'm just going to go back in with this brush right here and go back in with some of this um, deep um, pink. 
All these colors is very pigmented, you guys. And just put that back in the um, outer corner because I lost some of that color. All right, so this is very cute. You guys let me know what you think. You saw this is very pigmented. So this is my right, your left. So this is the first eye look. And you know what, you guys? I'm going to put something in the inner corner. So just for fun, I'm going to put... I'm going to put this green shade right here in the inner corner. A green to pop. Let's see how pigmented it is. What brush? Okay, I need this brush right here. Let's see. That's the color right there. That's some lint or something on my brush. Okay. And we're going to just pop that in the, in the corner. So, yeah, this green is pretty, you guys. Let me know what you think. Cute, fun, pretty look. All right, this is what the first look um first look look like, you guys. All in fun. I really like this palette. I don't, I barely use it. Um, I think I might only use it once or twice. But you guys, let me know what you think. So this is the first look. Then we're gonna just put on a little bit of mascara. So this is very wearable for spring or summer or whenever. Excuse me, whenever you want to wear it. So. I'm gonna put a little mascara and like I told you between this Pat McGrath and um my milk mascara they work wonders for the itty bitty lash committee when you don't feel like putting lashes on all the time. I only do that sometime, but I really don't do it a lot. As you guys could see every now and again I uh surprise you with some lashes, but for the most part I just like my Mascara. All right, so that's what we're looking like right there. How cute is this? How spring is this? And then I'm going to take, just because, <laughs> I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara, and I'm going to put that on my bottom lashes. And, yes, I'm using this because see how little the wine is? So, yes, I'm going to just take that and put that on my bottom lashes. And then my right, your left. It'll be complete. All right, so this is what we're looking like right here. Okay, wait a minute. All right, so this is what we're looking like right here. Very cute very springy i think it's very summery very cute very cute very cute very cute you guys let me know so i'm gonna come to the camera so you can see i hope you can see it i tried to angle my camera where you guys could see my eyes because we're focusing on my eyes not my makeup <laughs> so yeah that's my right your left using the huda beauty neon palette once again and now we're going to do a different look on my left your right so now i'm going to take my same brush well First, I'm going to take this um, Age Rewind Maybelline um, Concealer and Caramel and just put that on my lids. I love that Maybelline mascara, you guys. I, I, I even still have backups. You could just, I just like the way it looks, period. Whether I'm using it on my eyes or on my under my, I mean, with my eyelids or under my eyes or whatever. You guys let me know. It's an oldie but a goodie. And this Huda Beauty Neon palette is an oldie but a goodie. And I haven't used it. I think I used it. I keep saying I haven't used it. I used it. Oh, I'm clumsy. I used it one time. And I didn't use the pink or whatever. So I'm trying to use the colors. This is so pretty. Look at this. I didn't think it was going to be this pretty. This is super, super cute. And they came out with a few, Um, I think like about three or four neon palettes. And I only picked up one. This the only one that caught my eye. Okay, so now that we did that, I'm going to go in the crease with this like 
mustard yellow right here. So we're going to take that and put that in the crease. Pat first, because this color is light. I don't know if it's going to show. If not, then I'll just go in with a different color, you guys. Okay, it's showing a little bit. So I'm going to just pat this. Oh yeah, it's showing. Can you see it? So this is the mustard yellow right here. And like I said, I'm just trying to build it up for the camera first. And then I'm going to go in and start blending. You guys, you won't believe what um, highlighter I'm wearing today. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's by Fenty Beauty. It's Trophy Wife. How pretty is this? I'm like beaming to the gods. This is so pretty. So you can make, even though I'm getting off subject, subject <laughs> Trophy Wife <clears throat> wearable. Look at this. I have it here, here, here. And then like I tell you guys, I go over my whole face with my Guerlain uh, Meteorites in four when I'm done so I can tone everything down and blend everything together and it came out nice. So I like it. I'm beaming to the gods. It's very beautiful. Just in case you was wondering, I'm wearing a highlighter Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. Okay, so that's what that's looking like right there. So now I'm just going to blend that out do some circular motions at the end. I want it a little deeper. A little deeper. Okay, I think that's good enough. We could see it. Because I could see it, but I want to make sure you could see something on camera. Like, girl, I don't see nothing on your lid <laughs> or in your crease. All right, so that's what that's looking like right here. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's cute. You can see that, like, mustard orange. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with, take this brush, wipe it off. I'm going to go in with, so I went in with that color. I'm going to go in with this color right here. I went in with this color on my um in my crease and then I'm about to go in with this color right I mean I'm sorry this color right here on the lid so yeah we're gonna see how that look so I can say like mo all these shades that I'm using right now they are pigmented as you can see you can see I'm a deeper skin. This would be a very pretty, nice palette. If you have it, I don't know if you could still get it, but if you have it, you guys need to pull it out for summer and spring because it's very fun, very pretty, very easy, and it's blending very, very well. And it's showing up on my deeper skin, as you can see. So <laughs> this is a nice palette. So if you have it, bring it out or similar colors but yeah i was just looking through my palettes like what kind of video can i do because i know i said i was going to do um may phase but i didn't really purchase nothing in may like that so i don't know but we'll see only thing i really purchased in may was some body care from uh bath and body because they had a seat um a sale so i might do my bath and body haul but i'm gonna save that may my may phase and do it with june if you guys don't mind okay so that's what we're looking like right now how pretty is this how pretty is this how pretty is this how pretty is it how pretty is this <laughs> all right so now that i did that we're gonna add some bling so once again I'm going to take my uh, Too Faced glitter glue right here on my left, your right. Put a little bit on my finger. Go like this so it don't be too much. And then just put it on my lid. And then I take that same finger that I dipped inside the, um, dipped inside with, I don't know if I want to go in with this orange or this green. I put this, grandma, we're going to go in with this. We're going to be bold today. 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 So this is how that green look on my hand. Look at that. So this is pretty too. So yeah, we, oh my goodness. So yeah, we're about to do this. Oh yeah. 
yes i like it you guys this is pretty you guys let me know let me know let me know how pretty is this oh yeah i like this color look how it pops oh my god it really pops over that like oranges mustard color That's what it looks like on my hand once again. All right, so that's what we're looking like right here. How pretty is that? How pretty, how pretty, how pretty. Okay, I'll be amazed at these palettes, you guys, because I have them and I don't think about using them. So I'm super happy that I like to help you, help me, help you, help me, help me, help you, help you, help me. <laughs> Because um, I'm going to go back at, in with this color right here because these palettes are super nice. So I really like this palette right here. How summer and springy is this right here? You guys let me know. This is so pretty. And this is very wearable. Pretty and wearable. And then I'm going to take, um, we're going to do an inner color just because... I'm feeling myself. I love the way these shades look. You guys, if you have this palette, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. I'm not saying go spend your money and buy the palette because I don't want to encourage spending your money because I already know us makeup junkies got too many palettes. But pull out your colors that looks like this if you don't have this palette. Look at that mustard green on my deeper skin and that really shiny um, pink. So yeah, that was nice. So I did put a shadow first and then I went in with that one. So now I'm going to take this orange, this one right here, and we're going to just put that in the inner corner. Now these colors is very nice, you guys. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to build it up for the camera. I could see it, but I want you guys to see it. If you can see it. Okay, you can see it now. All right, so that's what we're looking like right here. Right here, this is super cute. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. We're going to add a little mascara. Finish off the look. Yeah, you guys, if you have any um, in particular eyeshadows uh, that you want me to try or um, do a review on, if I have it, I'll, um, I will review it. I mean, not review it, we'll do a quick eyeshadow look. So if you guys have any um, recommendations for your girl or what eye palette you want to see me use next, just let me know. Look at that. Oh, my goodness, you guys. You can't say this is not pretty and springy and summery. So, yeah, this is very cute. I'm going to do the same under this eye. So, that's what we're looking like right here. How cute is this, you guys? Super, super pretty. Like always, I'm getting a little oily, so I'm going to take this and blend it out, step back a little bit. You guys, let me know what you think. Very beautiful, very pretty, very springy. I uh, did a review, not even a review, well, kind of a review. To, to, well, let's do a quick review. The colors are nice. They're pigmented. They're creamy. They're deep skin friendly, and you see all the colors showed up. Even this color right here that I had to like build up, but once I build it up, it looks super, super nice. So yeah, so these are the colors right here of the Neon Huda Beauty Orange Palette. Super pretty, super springy, super summery, super fun, super wearable. So let your girl know, let your girl know, let your girl know what you think. Um, if you have any other eyeshadow palettes that you um, want me to do a look on, please comment down below. I can make that happen. 
Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tap my notification. Mean, wait, 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 start over, start over. I'm, I'm tripping. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tap my tap that notification bell. Check out my YouTube community tab and all my other social sites. Um, yeah, and I just want to appreciate you guys. I'm almost at a thousand. I know I'm jumping all over the place, but I just started this. I'm almost at a thousand, so please continue to like and share and um, subscribe to my channel so I can reach that milestone. It's like I've been stuck for a little while, but I've still been appreciating you guys watching and commenting and things like that. So yeah, until next time, stay safe, stay well. Kisses. Peace out.